A New Roads police officer is on leave tonight. What can you tell us about this? Yeah, that's right. That police officer was placed on paid administrative leave this week after dirty text messages surfaced about a teen claiming the cops sexually assaulted him. A police officer in the city of New Roads, the target of an investigation that could result in criminal charges after videos and text messages surfaced of an officer allowing teens to play with his gun, flip on the lights in his unmarked cruiser, and more. You better go back inside for you call. That officer has been with the department for less than a year and was sidelined when allegations arose he crossed the line with minors at his house. One 17 year old with the documented things in the text, uh, he's alleging this that he woke up um, and this guy was basically caressing him almost, uh, cuddling uh, in a way, and had unzipped his pants and began to fondle him, uh, which he got up and tried to run to the bathroom. Um, and this officer followed him and dropped to his knees and asked to perform all sex on him. Eugene Collins with the Baton Rouge NAACP says his organization got involved All of his weapons there, marijuana. after being asked to help vet the complaints by attorney Ron Haley, who was working with the teen's parents. From everything these kids said lined up. The phone number they gave was consistent with what we found would be this guy's phone number. Uh, and the messages were just extremely disturbing. The text messages obtained by the WBRZ investigative unit are unsettling. A 17-year-old writes to the cop, I'm 17 and I was asleep. You sexually assaulted me. I told you plenty of times that I only saw you as a brother. A message from the cop's phone reads, I've been trying to remember what happened and I honestly don't remember. The messages go on to say, why did you unbutton my pants when I was sleeping? Please tell me the trust. I won't be mad. Why you kept asking to suck my expletive? Why? The response, I've been trying to figure out how to explain this in a coherent way, man. These kids were allegedly giving drugs and alcohol um, and marijuana. They were allowed to smoke marijuana in their home. They were allowed to play with his service weapon. They were allowed to play with his undercover unit. The messages WBRZ obtained also show the cop telling the teen about a case he was working. It was the wrong house. Did have to detain a Karen, though. Wish we could have tased her, though. She was being an irate expletive. Police officer, um, former military. You know. Collins says when this was brought to Chief Kevin McDonald and Mayor Cornell Duke's attention, they both took swift action. I tell you, I'm extremely impressed how Mayor Dukes handled this situation. Uh, and working in concert with our sister branch in New Roads, uh, as well as our statewide convention, we, we were asked to assist in, in this matter. But immediately upon contacting Mayor Dukes, um, Mayor Dukes was meeting with us that evening. Police Chief Kevin McDonald told us today they will do everything above board and will be transparent. If the facts come out that the officer broke the law, he will be dealt with accordingly. And the teens are supposed to be interviewed next week. WBRZ has made an editorial decision not to identify that officer unless he's disciplined or faces criminal charges. Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a deeply troubling and important topic. The 2024 scandal involving police officers caught in a child pornography ring. So how did we get here? It all started with an extensive investigation by federal authorities. Over the past year, they uncovered a network operating across multiple states involving not just civilians but also individuals sworn to uphold the law. Now when we think of police officers, we think of protectors, people who put their lives on the line to keep us safe. But in this dark twist, some officers wound on the other side of the line. The investigation revealed that these officers used their positions of power to hide their heinous activities, exploiting the trust placed in them by the community. Why did these officers do it? Well, that's a complex question. Some were driven by personal demons, others by a deep-seated sense of invulnerability, thinking their badges shielded them from justice. This scandal has shaken public confidence and raised serious questions about oversight and accountability within police forces. Authorities have already arrested several officers, and more arrests are expected as the investigation continues. The public outcry has been massive, with many demanding thorough reform and stricter screening processes for law enforcement personnel. This is just about punishing the guilty. It's about understanding how such a breach of trust could happen and ensuring it never happens again. 
It's about protecting the most vulnerable among us and holding accountable those who exploit their power for nefarious purposes. In the wake of this scandal, communities are coming together to demand transparency and justice. It's a painful reminder that vigilance is necessary, even when it comes to those who are supposed to be our protectors. So what can we do? Stay informed, stay involved, and keep pushing for the changes that ensure our police forces are trustworthy and accountable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like and share. And remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Stay safe and stay vigilant.